So now we're going to talk about differentiability. Um, and when we say a function is differentiable, that means that we're able to take the derivative. Okay. So uh, the question is, does the derivative always exist? Uh, or in other words, is every function, uh, is it always, are they always differentiable? And uh, the answer is no. 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 Um, the derivative does not always exist. So um, there are three main ways of seeing when the derivative won't exist. But before we talk about those, let's think, uh, why might the derivative not exist? So remember, uh, what is the derivative? Uh, it's just slope, right? So we talked about that um, a few times. Derivative uh, is slope, right? Uh, specifically, it's the slope of the curve or the slope of the tangent line. So if derivative and slope are pretty much the same thing, um, can you think of any time when a slope uh, doesn't exist? So think about vertical lines. Okay, so vertical lines, uh, they have undefined slope, right? So if you have a curve that has a vertical tangent line somewhere, then the derivative at that point is going to be undefined. So that's, um, you know, that's one type of way that uh, a derivative won't exist. So that's, it's actually kind of related to two of the ways. But let's go ahead and uh, see what these three main ways are. So um, we'll just see three examples. So example one, uh, let's say we have f of x equals x to the one third. Okay, so this is uh, the cube root of the function uh, x, so the cube root of x. Um, what would the graph of that look like? Well, let's go ahead and just uh, make a quick sketch. So this will be x-axis, here's our y-axis. Um, the graph kind of sort of looks a little something like this. Kinda, that's just awful, but that's uh, close enough. So uh, y equals x to the one-third. So um, the problem here is that uh, at x equals zero, what we have is a vertical tangent line. So here at x equals zero, uh, there's a vertical tangent line. Okay, so this tangent line right here is vertical. Um, so what that means is that uh, you know the slope of this curve is undefined when x is zero. So in other words, the derivative at x equals zero is undefined or it doesn't exist. Okay. So if you have a vertical tangent line, then your derivative is not going to exist. So uh, vertical tangent. Okay. So if you have a vertical tangent line, um, so we'll just say tangent line, then your derivative doesn't exist. So that's one way. Um, what's another way? Well, another way, uh, let's take a look at the absolute value function. So example two, um, let's say uh, g of x equals the absolute value of x. All right. So what's that look like? Well, if we were to sketch a quick graph of that, uh, that would kind of sort of look a little something like this. So it's just got that V shape, right? Um, so this is Y equals absolute value of X. Okay. And here's our X axis. Here's our Y axis. So let's think about what would happen here at the uh, origin. So when X is zero, um, what would the derivative there be? what would a tangent line look like over there? So this is just a sharp point, right? It comes into this uh, sharp point on the V. So what would the tangent line look like? Well, would it be flat horizontal like that? Or would it be tilted slightly like that? Or would it be tilted slightly like that? So there's actually uh, infinitely many different possibilities we could have for a tangent line here. So it's really just not well defined. Um, and actually, uh, you can have a left derivative and a right derivative but the problem is they're not going to be the same thing here. So um, here in the last video we talked about one-sided derivatives, um, and you know you can have that at zero, uh, a left derivative and a right derivative. But the uh, the derivative, just the regular derivative, doesn't exist at zero. So again, we have a g primed of zero does not exist. Um, and this is an example of a sharp point. So this is a sharp point. Okay. 
So that's uh, two different ways so far how a derivative will not exist. Okay. Um, so let's look at the third one here, example three. Uh, example three. Let's say uh, h of x equals x to the two thirds. So this is kind of sort of going to look like x to the one third, but uh, basically this is x to the one third and then squared. So um, the graph is going to look a little something like this. Here's our y-axis, here's our x-axis. Uh, so the graph, we're still going to have this, this piece will still be the same here, but now this piece to the left of the y-axis is going to look a little bit different here. So what we actually have is something kind of like this. Um, so it's supposed to be symmetric over the y-axis, but uh, you, if you've been watching the videos up to now, you know I can't draw. Um, so this is what we have, x to the two-thirds. Okay, so this here, um, if we zoom in on this, so what we see uh, here, right at x equals zero, we don't really have a sharp point. It kind of looks like a sharp point, right? Um, like the same kind of thing we had with the absolute value of x, but this is technically called a cusp. So this is called uh, a cusp. Cusp. So that's what we have right here. Um, and the derivative is undefined there at a cusp. So let's zoom out a little bit. And you can think about, you know, what would happen if we uh, imagine a tangent line there at x equals 0. Well, imagine a tangent line right here. Okay, a tangent line, you know, be something like that. Um, but what would happen if, so this is a tangent line right here. Well, what if we tried to find a tangent line right here? Well, then it would be a lot steeper, right? be a lot steeper there. What if we try to find a tangent line right here? Then it'd be even steeper still. So we see that as we move closer and closer to the uh, origin, to x equals zero, the tangent lines get steeper and steeper, right? Until eventually, um, when we're at x equals zero, uh, the tangent line is just going to be pretty much vertical. So that's why at a cusp, um, we don't, there's no derivative, the derivative is undefined at a cusp. So this is just kind of an informal discussion of why uh, the derivative won't exist at a cusp, but um, that's all we really need to worry about for now. So uh, again, this is kind of actually related to vertical tangent lines and sharp points, but a cusp and a sharp point are not really the same thing. So the difference is with a cusp, they kind of come in together in a curve like that, all right? Um, but with a sharp point, they just come together in a straight line like that. So that's kind of the difference between a cusp and a sharp point. Um, so again, what we would say here, is uh, h primed of zero, h primed of zero does not exist. So in all of these examples, um, the derivative at zero doesn't exist, and you might be wondering, well, is it always the case that it'll be at zero? Uh, and no, it's not. You know, it could be at any other point, really, um, but it just happened at zero in these three examples because that's how I just chose these functions, because um, that's just simpler that way. But for example, if this were absolute value, if this instead were absolute value of x minus 1, um, then the derivative would not exist when x is 1, okay, because this would look something like this. So then our sharp point would be here at x equals 1, so the derivative wouldn't exist there. So I just want to point that out real quick. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and summarize the three ways where a derivative doesn't exist. So three ways. Three ways a derivative, uh, I guess, let's say, fails to exist. Or maybe, technically speaking, uh, three places where a derivative won't exist, but it, you know, whatever. Um, so one we talked about was a vertical tangent lines. So if you have a vertical tangent line, um, the derivative will not exist there. Vertical tangent lines. And two was uh, sharp points. And then the third way we talked about was uh, cusps. Okay, so three ways for a derivative uh, to not exist. If you have a vertical tangent line, or if you have a sharp point, like in the absolute value function, or if you have a cusp, like in x to the two-thirds, um, then your derivative is not going to exist there. So that's just something to uh, keep in mind there.